You've probably been told that getting smarter means grinding through books, solving complex problems, or memorizing endless facts. But here's the twist. Science says some of the dumbest habits, the ones people laugh at or dismiss, might actually rewire your brain to make you sharper, faster, and more creative. Take talking to yourself. Most people see it as embarrassing, but research shows it activates more parts of your brain than silent thinking. When you verbalize, your auditory system joins forces with your memory circuits. This means you're literally building a stronger mental map, making it easier to recall information and solve problems. So the next time you mutter, where did I put my keys? You're not weird, you're upgrading your brain. Or consider asking silly questions. In school, people avoid it out of fear of looking dumb, but curiosity builds intelligence. Every time you ask, even if the question sounds stupid, you push your brain to connect dots and carve new neural pathways. That's divergent thinking, the exact skill innovators rely on. Einstein once said he wasn't a genius, just passionately curious. Turns out, science agrees. Daydreaming? Teachers call it laziness. Neuroscientists call it pattern recognition. When your mind drifts, your brain's default mode network switches on, sorting through problems, finding patterns, and linking unrelated ideas. That's why your best ideas hit you in the shower or on a bus ride. They emerge when your brain is free to wander. Even odd movements like walking backward or writing by hand have surprising effects. Moving in unusual ways jolts your brain out of autopilot, building spatial awareness and memory recall. And handwriting, unlike typing, lights up creative and emotional circuits, solidifying comprehension and boosting learning depth. These aren't pointless quirks, they're workouts for your neural wiring. So short, pointless skill sessions work the same way. Learning just five words of a new language or a quick tune on an instrument each day primes neuroplasticity, your brain's ability to adapt and grow. It's not about mastery, it's about keeping the circuits flexible and ready. So the next time someone mocks you for daydreaming, doodling, or asking stupid questions, remember, those little quirks are brain hacks. They work because they trigger novelty, curiosity, and neuroplasticity, the very forces that make us smarter. Intelligence isn't just built in libraries or labs. Sometimes it's hidden in the tiny, weird habits you've been told to stop doing. And if you lean into them, you might just find your brain evolving in ways you never expected.